Hi, I'm Liam from Fowles and welcome to the Home Renovators Absentee Auction for Wednesday the 22nd of September 2021. Okay, so same as last week. Uh, for those of you who were playing last week, uh, we'll be having an absentee auction. Due to the lockdown, we can't have people through uh, to look at the goods. We can't hold a live auction, so we'll do it all via absentee again. Uh, there is an instructional video at the end of this video uh, that you can watch. It's also, your, you can watch, watch the video on our website. It shows you how to do the absentee bids. Essentially, you go on the website, uh, you click view items. Each item's got its own area where you can place a bid uh, and the highest bid uh, will get a phone call at the end of the auction uh, with the good news. So basically, uh, have, a bit, have a bit of a look around and feel free to put in your absentee bids. Got some beautiful stuff in this week. Uh, some really nice looking uh, wood heaters there. The big 300 uh, with the, the su supremacies with the, um, the, the panoramic glass. Absolutely beautiful. Fan forced, all the rest of it. Uh, so really nice looking gear, those, uh, those great big wood heaters. Still a, bit, a little bit of cold weather left as well. I'm really excited about these ovens. They, uh, they're sort of in the middle of the auction lots 324 through to 327 uh, they've got these two here have got uh, air fry function and also steam clean function and then across here these have got air fry function and pyrolytic cleaning I reckon the um, the money is going to be around that probably 250 through to about $400 is it going to be about the bidding on these. So it's really exciting to have those beautiful looking units uh, in for that sort of money. You could do, really do, do well on those. Three months factory warranty, uh, so that's absolutely terrific. Just on the end here, I can see there's a, a nice looking glass fronted 900 mil chimney range hood. That's a pretty nice one. Uh, loads of bits, of, uh, bits and pieces from Beef Eater in this week, this week which is uh, exciting. Uh, that's a Beef Eater bug. I think there's a couple of those. Uh, you'll be around, I reckon the bidding's going to be around mid 400s on those a grade 12 months factory warranty really nice looking gear over the back we've got some built-in uh, built-in cooking appliances there uh, that one there is a combination built-in microwave uh, that one there is a, just a, a more compact built-in microwave but they'll both go into that 45 centimeter uh, cavity so uh, you know really nice really nice looking stuff and Westinghouse obviously awesome brand loads of unreserved tapware again have a look at all this mostly basin uh, looks like basin mixers there but I can see other bathroom wear in there and over the back there's lots of big shower heads uh, there's things like toilet roll holders uh, all sorts of bits and pieces so check the catalogue um, and most of that's going to be unreserved so there'll be some really good bargains uh, going through there. Let's have a look at these other barbecues. I can see there's some more bugs here. Uh, there's, there's another one I want to show you here that's the Beef Eater Club Man. You are about, uh, oh, you're about 1800 bucks in, in the shops. Uh, I reckon that, it's, um, we've left it all boxed up. It's absolutely beautiful. I reckon it'll be about 1000 bucks tomorrow. That'll be the, the sort of money. Uh, where can we go next? I'm going to have a look at some appliances. Actually, more barbecues first. This is another great one. Have a look at this. Uh, lot 247, the beef eater, built in, uh, beautiful barbecue. It's either built in or on a trolley, but build, you can build it in. Beautiful looking unit, the Discovery. Uh, I reckon the bidding will probably start around 300 through to about 400, 450. So anywhere in there, put your bid in and you uh, you, sh you should be right. That, that's an absolute rip of that one. Uh, over the other side, I've got some uh, X showroom. Uh, so ex some, some ex-showroom uh, vanities, these freestanding lush vanities, I reckon in the shops are sort of $1,700, $1,800. Uh, they are out of the showroom, but they are pretty tidy. Um, I rec I'm reckoning sort of $300 bucks will get one of those. Stone top there, beautiful um, soft close drawers there. Absolutely sensational. So there's two of those, the 1500s, both with the stone tops. They've got a little bit of a... a um, uh, a little bit of a, a, a cut in there where they were installed, so that's why they're going to be uh, nice and cheap for someone. Really good, good units. Uh, this one's also nice. The um uh, the one with the, um, the, the, the marble top there, uh, that's 1,500 wide over the other side. There's a couple there. This bath's pretty good. Again, it's X showroom uh, so it's going to be um, it's 1,700 long. Uh, it's got you know, the glue marks or the, uh, you know, the, um, the silicon marks where it was installed in the shop. Uh, really nice. I reckon it's sort of 250 to 350 on that. And then there's another one there. That uh, looks like it's pretty, pretty well brand new. Uh, it's 1,500. Uh, it's got the it's, um, designed to mount against the the wall there but it is freestanding I reckon again 250 to 350 across the way have a look at this this is a nice one lot 242 uh, the beautiful black uh, 900 freestanding cooker um, I'm guessing natural gas on top electric inside but it's a really nice 
current modern finish there so uh, that'll be really nice for someone I reckon a thousand to twelve hundred dollars maybe a little bit more but I reckon that would be about the right money for you uh, shining through here a, a great big line of uh, washing machines and dishwashers uh, we've got uh, quite a few in Technica, Bomatic, Euromade um, some nice black ones there 221, 223 uh, a couple hundred bucks on all of these I reckon three, yeah, there'll be three months warranty and sort of go two to three hundred in your estimates I reckon will be about the right money on all of these a couple more freestanders here nice black one there the, the lot 215 the euro made um, of course all the bits and pieces are uh, is stored inside the oven they're ready to go so that's a pretty nice one um, and again probably about that thousand dollar mark usually around that sort of money on those uh, let's have a look what else can I show you heaps more appliances uh, spinning through here that's a nice one on the end, the belling. Uh, I think that looks like it's 600 wide, I think it is. Yeah, 600 wide there, gas on top. And are we gas inside or are we gas uh, electric, electric oven, uh, gas on top. So nice looking unit in that 600 width. Uh, pretty nice modern look there. Probably three or $400 will be about the right money. Coming through here, plenty of nice gear again. Uh, some Euromade washing machines. That's a nice looking Euromade 10 kilo front load washing machine. I'm guessing... 350 to 450 around there. Uh, heaps more dishwashers. So if you're looking for a dishwasher this week, uh, you'll be in luck. There are absolutely mountains of them. Uh, nice looking Electrolux dryer there. Uh, there's quite a few of those as well. A uh, little nice little fridge there. There's a little bar fridge with a freezer. Two, lot 245. You're probably going to be about 100 bucks, 120 bucks for that. That'll be a, a nice little buy for somebody there. Uh, a bit more beef eater stuff. We've got a little beef eater, but it looks like a burner here. Let's have a look. Yep, beef eater gas burner there. So that's designed for your in, for your inbuilt um, your inbuilt barbecue setup, your outdoor kitchen. Uh, so that's nice. That would normally be probably 1500 bucks. I reckon probably about 400 bucks on that one. What else can I show you? Uh, through here, I can see there's a nice Westinghouse double oven there, the lot 289. Loads of these Simpson 10, 11, 12 kilo top loaders there. Um, and again, probably three to 400 bucks on those, 12 months warranty and all of them. Heaps of fridges, as you can see. Go through the fridges. Uh, best advice on the fridges is have a look through, maybe Google the model number, see what they're selling for out in the field, and then uh, give us a, an offer of a fraction of that. Maybe give us sort of an offer of half of whatever they're selling for. See how that goes. That should be should, should go pretty well. Nice looking dishwashers again through here. These are the elect this is the Electrolux stable here. Uh, that's a nice solid looking unit. That 276. That's probably one of my picks for the uh, for the week there. Uh, and again, uh, this one's pretty nice. I know this one backwards because I've got one of these. Uh, they're pretty good. Uh, what else have we got? Lot 273 there. There's still still quite a few of these uh, Electrolux Ultimate Care washing machines, front load washers. That lot 273 is a nine kilo there. Uh, and then round the corner, I think there's a couple of tens here. There's a ten, couple of ten kilo. Electrolux Ultimate Care uh, front load washing machine, so they're fantastic. Uh, the the split systems out of Adena, uh, we are running out of these now. We had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these split system air conditioners. Uh, you've got uh, something in the vicinity of about a two kilowatt, something in the vicinity of a three kilowatt. Um, and they are um, four, around low 400s, mid 400s. Uh, also, and, and they've nearly run out. So make sure if you if you've been thinking about one of them, grab one of them. Uh, these are the the, um, the gas log fires. Uh, again, they are running out as well, uh, and you'll be around fourteen hundred dollars the bidding mark on those. Um, and we've, again, we've sold a hundred of them at least. But lots of very happy customers with those gas log fires. Some uh, some cooking bits and pieces here. Probably a couple of hundred bucks on all this cooking stuff. Uh, that's pretty nice through there. Uh, what else can I show you? Have a look at all these bridges. Of course, how many of these are left now, Jacko? Uh, I've got four or five of these. Uh, big KitchenAid fridges, they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, bidding around that uh, around that 4000 mark. If you put a $3,900 bid in, you'll probably get one of those. Uh, really nice units uh, with the factory warranty, so that's, uh, that's a bonus as well. Heaps and heaps of fridges in this week. As I said, just check through uh, online and see, what's, uh, see what the, these ones are floating about. Do a bit of research. Uh, you should get lucky on those ones, I reckon. Over on this side, still got lots and lots of Frankie Taps. Um, and they're generally a half to a third of their current retail. Uh, being Frankie, they're you know, brilliant units. Uh, some bathroom, uh, some bathroom hardware through here. More Frankie taps. Uh, again, just ch check the catalog, check through the um, check through the items. What else have we got here? Um, there's some really nice looking stuff uh, down the bottom. We've got some Frankie sinks there. Um, and generally, it's hard to it's hard to give you sort of an estimate on those, but you'll be between sort of a hundred dollars for the for the base model ones through to about three or four hundred for the really snappy ones. Uh, loads of ovens this week. 
uh, one of our best offerings of ovens for the year. Heaps and heaps of different styles. And again, a couple of hundred bucks on all of these. Uh, nice cooktops as well, as you can see there. There's a nice black one over the back there with the, uh, the black finish and the glass top. Um, probably looking, yeah, a couple of hundred bucks. Maybe a $250, $300 bid should get that away. Uh, down the bottom, more sinks there uh, out of Frankie. Uh, up top here, we've got a load, of, a load more ovens. They're nice looking ones, and I'm guessing... 200 bucks, 250 around that sort of money. That's a 750 size, so it's a bit of an odd size there. You're probably going to be about $400 on the 750 oven. Uh, mountains of range hoods under here, so if you're looking for a range hood, uh, again, give us a bit of a, I reckon, probably 100 bucks, 200 bucks. You know, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be pretty good, those ones. Uh, really nice looking stuff. What else have we got through here? A little bit of, uh, little bit of ceramic ware there. I can see we've got some basins, uh, toilet suites. Let's see what else we can see down through here. We haven't been up this lane yet. Let's have a look up this lane. Uh, lots of uh, wall, wall hung vanities here. Got some laundry troughs. These are pretty cool, the, uh, the, double, the double hung laundry troughs. I think the vendor was probably looking for around that sort of $300 mark from memory would be about right. Um, so they're pretty nice. Loads more fridges through here, as you can see. Um, there'd have to be 70 fridges in tomorrow. Uh, also got a little bit of this mirrored, uh, mirrored furniture as well. Uh, probably looking at, I reckon, between sort of $100, $200 on each thing. So uh, that's probably sort of the money through there. Uh, more ovens across the way. Mountains of ovens this week. Can't believe how many ovens we got. So there's some really nice looking stuff through here. Um, you know, these Electrolux ones, these are sensational. You'd be $4,000 plus in the shops for these. You've got the, uh, the twin fans inside. Um, all sorts of amazing functions, pyrolytic cleaning, um, bake and steam functions, and you're probably sort of around that two and a half thousand there. Uh, still got a couple of these uh, these salt um, freestanders, the 900 mil freestanders. You're going to be about sort of 850 around the, that sort of money for those ones there. Uh, what else have we got? Jacko had just spotted something. What have we got? Oh, how could I forget? So still got some of these KitchenAid uh, dishwashers. Uh, they're the integrated front, of course, so you'll, you'll match it up to the, to the front, to the same front as your kitchen, but they are absolutely beautiful. Uh, around $1,400 when they're in the shops. Uh, you'll be mid-300s on that. It's got the cutlery rack there. Uh, it's got the, the really solid finish. Uh, it's got a, a four-propeller uh, jet at the bottom. I've uh, got wine glass holders that come in there well. You can put up to 18 wine glasses in. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's a good hundred still left to go and you'll be around that, around that $350 mark. Uh, wine fridge looks like there's uh, one wine fridge left, I think. You'll be around 900 to 1,000 uh, on the wine fridge there, so that's pretty nice as well. Uh, one, of, one of these left looks like there's probably one couple of these left uh, around that $1,000 mark. So the Euro 900 mil uh, uh, freestander, uh, you've got gas on top, electric inside, rotisserie amongst other functions, um, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, what else have we got to have a look at here? Oh yeah, these ones, these are pretty nice. Uh, these are 120 centimetre uh, uh, signature pro line beef eater uh, outdoor range hood for the barbecue. Uh, so it's 1200 wide folks, they're about $3,000 in the shops. Uh, I reckon the bidding will be around, oh look, 1250 1250 through to about $1,400 in the boxes with the factory warranty, 2,300 cubic metres an hour. So it's like having three or three and a bit normal range hoods. So a really nice draw. Um, obviously, it's about being outdoor, you'll have a bit more bit, bit more weatherproof than, than just having outdoor ones out there. So they're, they're really nice. I like those. I really like those. Um, what else have we got? Uh, there's some, I think we've got a few of these outdoor kitchens still to go. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, there's, there's a, one of those beef eater uh, fridges there. Uh, double door fridge, 200 litres. Um, what were they going for last week? About that 900, 950 mark last week. Uh, there's still a couple of these uh, flat pack uh, outdoor kitchens. So you get the cupboard, the stone tops, the barbecue, cupboards there again, and the sink. Uh, all flat pack, so it's easy to transport, uh, easy to build, and you'd be around that sort of three and a half thousand dollar mark on those. So there's still a couple of them to go, um, and then also uh, the Robovax. We've got one, two, three, four Robovax there, uh, varying in money, probably around that yes, yeah, around that seven hundred dollar mark. But they are the really the, the the real the real deal there. 
So uh, they're pretty cool. I think that just about covers it, folks. Um, the good news as well this week, the carpet auction is back, so there'll be a video and also a catalogue for the carpet auction. Plenty of nice rolls in there because we've had a fair bit of build-up by not having uh, any auctions in there for, for, for all those weeks. So if you're looking for carpet, you'll find really good stuff in there. Also, over the back, the timber and building materials auction uh, is running via Absentee as well, so make sure you check those videos. You can stay now and uh, just click on the Absentee bidding auction video and have a look at that and as well and it'll give you a bit more information on how to do the absentee bids. Thanks folks, good luck. Uh, if you, uh, as far as pickups go, we need you to pick up everything by Saturday at 3 o'clock. Uh, we'll probably, if you are the winning bidder, we'll give you a call and organise your credit card number so you, it can be all paid before you uh, before you come and come and pick up. So probably be in touch Wednesday, Arvo, and all through Thursday we'll be in touch. So just be ready for the good news. Thanks folks, see you next time.